Is this where I'm starting? I stopped, so I guess this is where I'm starting. What's up, guys? Retro Game here, and welcome back to more Super Mario 3D World. In the last part, we beat a couple of stages that I can't remember right now, and I have to say something because <laughs> it's really bad. Alright, so the audio for this part got destroyed in the process. I don't even know what happened. It sounded like a magnet went up against something, so now this is all post commentated. Yeah, I really don't know. I've been running into a couple of recording problems, and I hate to have to get a new laptop, but if it looks that way, I probably might. So I'm going to start saving up soon. But yeah, I do have to mention that this stage has some of the best music in this game. I know I gush about the music a lot. And as you see right there, I went up to see what was up there, and I end up picking up the mushroom. I actually went for it. But um, yeah, there's nothing up there, so I just spin around and do a cat missile. And right down there, <laughs> it's hard to commentate this like as it happens because I already know what happens. But um, right here, I'm demonstrating a trick that you could do with these blocks because if you pause before you hit it, like the one before you pause will be the next one that you want. I know I can't word it right because I'm an idiot, but it doesn't really work on land. I mean, underwater, it works on land perfectly. And right here, I'm looking for the first star coin. I mean, star coin. Jeez, man, what game am I playing? <laughs> well, actually, I'm playing nothing besides a link between worlds on my 3DS. But <laughs> which reminds me, I still need a 3DS capture card, and I'm waiting on that. I also need to save up some cash. <laughs> uh, mo money, mo prop. I'm just kidding. But anyway, I'm right now. I'm just searching for the first green star, but. And I'm like, oh, jeez, idiot, it's right here. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, goodness. See, it's the hard part about post-commentary. You say everything you want to in the first two minutes, and then you literally run into a stop. And then you just start looking for stuff to talk about. I missed time down there, and I was just like, oh, I missed time. But little did I know that it was only like ten seconds, so I really didn't need that. But anyway. Yeah. So, oh, what's up with you guys? I've just been doing nothing. Been enjoying the time. I got I literally did not want to get out of bed this morning. I was just like, uh, it's so comfortable right now. But my dogs had to go outside, so I take them out. I took them out. And right now I'm watching House Guests on the TV right now. <laughs> because right now is a good phrase to say a couple of times. And it's on the part where Phil Hartman shoves the ice cream into the dude's face. Man. It sucks that he died, dude. Walker died. Oh. Well, I guess like I can say that was too fast. And I was too furious. Oh, that was too soon. That was not in good nature. I'm sorry. I apologize for my bad jokes. And my just... Oh. But it is kind of ironic. Kind of. And sad. Very sad. But right there, I missed that star coin. I mean, green star. Jeez, man, what game am I playing? Uh, I know I'm not recording a new Super Luigi today. <laughs> uh, well, I might. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I missed that green, uh, green star right there because I didn't remember where it was. And right up through there, there's actually a secret exit right through here. Well, not a secret exit, but like secret pathway. The secret exits are in the other Mario games. And that's where you get the third green star. And I was like, oh man, I'm an idiot. I forgot it. Darn it. I don't know. And we missed all those bad jokes. All the bad jokes I said during this recording. They're gone. They're gone forever. Curse you, audacity. Something went wrong. I don't know. I'm sitting here confused. As I probably... <laughs> someone probably knows and I'm probably like, oh, that would make sense. But I don't know. But yeah, we got that one. Alright. And then we run into another cliche when you're post commentating and singing the song along with it because you forget you don't have anything else to say. And that was a cheap stamp. Get it? Cheap stamp? It was cheap. But anyway, I'm going to cut back to where we get that star. Alright, here's where you actually need. You need to go up here and hit that block. I remember when I know it like a doofus. <laughs> yeah, when I recorded, I was like, oh yeah, this is where you need to go. 
Like, you're not fooling anyone, man. You totally forgot where it was, and it was acting like an idiot, frantically searching around. <laughs> but anyway, you go and blow up that wall. I was totally, like, afraid of hitting those things and, like, losing that thing and having to restart again. That's not fun. Well, it is. This game is fun, but, you know, backtracking. That's not fun. And then we go to I go and grab the time, because that's obviously the most important thing to go get. And also, shoot the money. I'm like, oh my god, you can shoot money? I'm like, dude, don't you remember that? When was the last time you recorded, man? You make it... They're like, you're, you're not even trying to hide the fact that you don't record as much as you should be. Alright, I'm gonna cut here and meet you back to where we hit the next stage. <laughs> 69 hurt, 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 drip. Alright, but anyway, on to the next one. Now, this level with that big band music. Yeah, mighty boss tones up in here. That was t that was a terrible phrase. I cannot be gangster because I'm not good with slang terms. But anyway, anyway, <laughs> anyway. Oh shoot! I'm just enjoying this music. Die of this song and I screwed up in my recording and I have to. Do this all post commentary because I don't know what happened to Audacity and it just screwed it up. It made me sound like a robot. Mm -hmm. But anyway, <laughs> yeah. And now we're at the chase scene of house guests, and now I have a star. I'm just, this is like a terrible let's play. It's just screwed the integrity of this let's play. Because now it's no longer about the game, it's about me. Which is not good. Yeah. The funny thing about Hottest Guest, this is like the last Sinbad movie that I've seen or know about. Back in the day where everybody thought he was dead. <laughs> you know. <laughs> and I saw a stand up and he was making fun of that. And it's like, oh, yeah. oh you know. The old things don't last forever. Look at Amanda Bynes, she didn't last forever. <laughs> oh, shots are being fired all in this video. Should I even should I even keep this take? You know what? No, I'm not keeping this take. But anyway. Oh. And then we hit the checkpoint. Checkpoint! Yay! And we have more of these these jello electric jellos. What is with Nintendo and uh, electric jelly? I I'm talking about those chews, man. It's just so electrifying. And they make a comeback on freaking Between Worlds, or Link Between Worlds. It's just... Uh, I'm glad most of them are not electrifying. Oh, and if I ever do a Link Between Worlds, since it's probably going to be... Well, dull is going to be past the day one period. It's going to be on here remote. And look at me. I tried to jump into the waterfall because I think it has a star. The green star. Even though... Like, I shouldn't know where it is. Oh, jeez. Like, look at me. It's just an idiot. Just a freaking doofus biffing it all over the place. And I won't have to cut it, because it's right close. It's right close. It's right near the checkpoint. So I shouldn't worry about it. And this time I actually go for the eight red coins, because I lost my power up like a genius. The pure genius that I am. And by genius, I mean total idiot. And I was kind of disappointed that they give you firefly of all things. Like, it's an aerial based le level. Why would I need horizontally based weapons, items? Like, you know what I'm saying? It's just bad item placement. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and take that. Go that way. And that's where you find your second green star. That had me baffled a little bit the first time I was going through it. Because when I co-opted, I couldn't find it. And then we got this part. This is what I call the freaking crazy eights. Eight crazy nights. Which, oh my goodness. I can't wait for that show. show. I should be looking that up. See when it's going to come on. Because that's like one of my favorite Christmas movies of all time. And right here I panicked. Because I had... Oh... 
We lost my para, but I didn't, didn't want to waste my cat belt because it was no war. I want to die easily, and I wanted to be safe, but I could then be sure if I should jump down in there and the level's over. Oh man. I love that song though. I need to, like, you know what I need to get? I need to get, like, an iPod, but, you know, it's just so much stuff I need to spend money on, so I don't even get... And then again, if I get an iPod, I don't... I won't listen to it, because I had an iPod, and I never listened to it. But anyway, that's the end of that level, so I'm going to end off this video right here. Uh, so if you like my stuff, why not comment, favorite, or like, subscribe, become a retro if you like to do that stuff. Uh, <laughs> follow me on my channel, my Twitter, if you love all my derpiness. And when we come back next time... We'll be doing more stages, and yes, it will be post-commentated. Yeah, I'm sorry.